Pets, subscribers, YouTubers, welcome to this edition of Logan Vapes. Today we're talking about a new tank I picked up yesterday, and I've been dying, dying to get my hands on it. Here it is, the TFV8 Cloud Beast. I've been dying to get my hands on it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna see what comes in the box, and we're gonna see why the tank itself gets its name. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna look in the box. And everything, see what we get. My tank is already primed. It's you got the thing. This is where your tank comes in. My tank is already on my H priv, my smock, so I'm pure smock. You got your instruction manual, O rings, and a tip for you got little extra screws. They're real small, that's for the RBA base. You got three of them, don't know why they don't put four. No, they do put four. Four of them for your RBA base. Little Allen key, your bath salts, your authenticity, your RBA base, which comes already pre installed with dual Claptons. And you come with a spare coil. I have the Q8 in, or the Q4 in there, so that's the quadruple coil head. And a spare glass. Well, that's pretty much all that comes in the box, guys. So now we're going to take a look at the tank and see how it vapes in, later in the show. So let me put this all to the side. This big boy right here, yes, it's a big tank. It's called the TFV8. Cloud Beast is a six mil tank. I'm guessing it's a, I don't know what the size it is. Or the dimensions. I think it's a 25 millimeter tank. So I'll be doing research and letting y'all know exactly. I don't know the specs. The coil I have in there is reading at 0.15 ohms. Best, it goes 50 to 260 watts. Best at 120 to 180. So I'm not even going to try to push it that far. Uh, I'm just at 120. This is the highest I've ever vaped. So this is just a quick overview guys, so what we're going to do is going to see how it vapes later, just a little bit later, but what I like about it is it's a top fill, just like the TFV4, it has a, that swivel top, and it's a 6 mil tank, so the only thing I don't like about it is it drinks juice, guys, I've been vaping on it, I probably put 3 or 4 tanks of juice in there. It drinks the juice but when you're getting clouds like this in a more satisfying vape who needs it right so what we're gonna do we're gonna see how it vapes from the side up front and personal and that's it that's gonna be near the sh end of the show I think three hits sub three hits satisfies me. Uh, the thing I like about the tank is its cloud production. Of course, it's on point. When you got massive airflows, where you can see through them, like I can see you guys personally in my phone, just massive, massive airflow. I say better airflow than the Cleto 120. It drinks juice though, guys. So if you're gonna to need to buy a lot of juice, I got the Juice Box 180, which I'm vaping right there. It's six milligram a nick. But all in all, it's a good tank, guys. If you want, if you have, you are gonna need your vape hand, your vape wallet handy for this one. I've seen from 35 to 50 bucks. For this tank. But 
Boy, oh boy. It's a good flavor coming off of it. Not as good as the Aspire Cleto 120, which I will be doing a versus video. But all in all, guys, it's a real satisfying bake. Not for you noobs out there. This is for you experienced lung hitters. Is it a good buy, though? I say for the money, what you get, and everything, I say it's a good buy. If you can, if you have the money for it, purchase it. You got coil options for it, which I do like. So that's today's show, guys. Until next time, this has been Logan Bates. Take it easy.